Hello everyone, this is Sean Wright with Cub Scout Pack 95 in Homewood, Alabama. We've produced this screencast to help out parents with logging into the Packmaster website and entering their Cubs achievements. Now Packmaster is the software that we use to record all our packs activities, the attendance, the training, the achievements, things like that. The Packmaster web is a module we sync with to give us access using a web browser. Now we feel that giving parents access will help us make sure that our kids are advancing in a timely manner. So let's get started. The easiest way to access the site is through pack95homewood.com. And here you can see our front page. If you'll scroll down, you'll notice on the right side it says BSA links. And down here towards the bottom it says Packmaster Web Login. So let's click on that. You can access the site by going to packmasterweb.com slash pack95homewood, but this is probably an easier way for you. Well, to log into the site, you need a user ID and a password. I've already sent out a good bit of them to people who've already requested one. If you'd like one, just let me know and I'll sign you up. So let's get started. So we've set up a fictional scout called Cub Scout and his father, Leader Scout. We've given his father access. So let's put in his user ID, Scout, and his password is Password. Now you can click on the mobile login to see it on your, your smartphone. Or if you've got an iPad, you, can, you probably don't have to do that. You could go straight to the login. It looks pretty good. So let's hit Login. And here we are. This is our front page. Now let me show you a couple of things up at the top. Passwords you won't be able to do with anything with except change your password. The activities menu is the things that we're doing during the month. You'll be able to look at it. We usually take attendance and this is where it goes. It really helps us to find out if uh, we're losing somebody, if somebody's not showing up and we need to reach out to them. The adult section, you won't be able to see anything so I grade it out. Fundraiser, we actually use a different program for that, so it's grayed out. Group credit, calendar, reports, message board, none of that stuff will work. All you're focused on is scouts, so we're going to go there. As you can see on this page, the father leader scout only has access to his child. And Cub Scout has the rank of Bobcat, which he just received. But he's a little older, so he's a bear. So we've got him in Den 3 Bear. So let's go through a couple of these things down the side. First is his personal information. We're going to see his name, his last name, first name, his address. There'll be phone numbers. There'll be emails. We have a place here where he joined the unit. One of the most important things is his date of birth. We've got his grade, his school. All these can be changed by you, the parent. On the second window of personal number two is a lot of information, medical information, uh, health forms, family vehicles. We really don't care about that. We don't want to track it here. Now, as far as the allergies go, that's something that we are very interested in. And we'd like to know that in another place, someplace we can get to it, especially for campouts and things like that. The next button is parents. This is where you're going to make a lot of the changes. This is where your name is your spouse's name, your contact phone numbers, uh, emails. This is where we send out reports. On the master program, there'll actually be a check button here that we can click so that we can send out reports to you on your child. If there's a, a third parent involved, a, a step parent, um, they can be placed here. This remarks and others, there's not really anything there, so we're just going to ignore that. Well, now we've finished with the parents' information. So let's go back to personal number one. And here at the bottom, we have advancement and awards. So we'll go to advancement. This is where you're going to input all the information. Now, again, you just see your, your son's name. On the Bobcat, he's already done a lot of work. He's already finished it. So we've already put in the dates that he completed each one of these sections and his badge was earned on 9-15-11. We go back 
There's the Tiger badge. There's the Wolf badge. He's too old for those. He didn't join uh, in time. He's only going to be working on the bear and moving forward. So let's go to the bear section. The bear is a good place to start because it's kind of complex. If you notice here, there are four sections. God, country, family, and self. For instance, country, it requires you to do three of them. But there are five you can choose from. Family, there's four required out of six. So we've already got some dates in here. So let's look at what makes America special. He was required to do A and J, and then two more other requirements. So we've already checked off A and J, and H and I. So now that is completed. And we went ahead and put the date in. Same thing for the past is exciting and important. He completed G and two others, but he also did four others on top of that. So we completed that, we put the date here, and then we also added in four electives, because those other four he did count towards electives. Same thing down here on Ride Right. He completed requirement A and three other requirements. And then once he did that, we put the date in and how many requirements he did. So let's do one more. Let's go to Family Fun. He has to complete all these. So we'll do A and B. We'll close it. We'll click on this box. Mark the date. And while we're at it, let's do one more. Be ready. Complete requirements A through E and requirement G. So we'll do that. And let's say he does requirement G. Let's say he goes that extra step. So we'll do the date, and since he did one more, we'll mark that. So that's what he's done. So let's go to the bear electives. Again, he's not working on the wolf electives, just the bear. This is where you put in information on the bear electives. Now, you, these will all apply towards his arrow points. He cannot win an arrow point until he gets his bear badge. It's this way through all the different ones. But if you notice on here, he's already been working on some stuff. On space, he's already done six electives. On art, he's done six. So when you go into one of these, let's try boats. You'll see that there are five different sections he can work from. Let's say he's done a and he did C. Those are the two he's completed so far. When you close that, when you go back to boats, you'll see that he's got two in there. So this is keeping score. It knows that we've got six here, we've got two, there's six. It's got 14 electives already. We know that it takes 10 electives to get an arrow point. So he's already on his way to his second arrow point and also he's got some extra credit from the achievements from the other page. When he wins his bear award, these dates will be filled in up here and that's where we will find out and we'll know to award him one of his arrow points. So let's leave the electives and move on to the next section. Say OK. And if you notice uh, some of the other things here, we have Weeblow's Activity Badges, Weeblow's Arrow of Light. Those are going to be the next two years from now, so he won't do anything on that if he's a bear. Uh, the Academic and Sports Awards, these are the belt loops. So let's see what we can do there. There's a couple of different things here in the pull-down menu. There's Academic Cub, Sports Cub, Academic Weeblow's, and Sports Weeblow's. The Tiger Cub, Wolves and bears will all work from these first two. The Weeblows will work on the second two. So let's add some stuff in. We see that he's already won his art loop and maybe his uh, citizenship loop. He's completed all three requirements and we're going to put the date in. Now the pin is something that you do in addition to the loop. You have to finish the loop requirements before you move on to the pin. 
So you'll place the information here. The sports is on the next page. So let's say you did the bicycling belt loop. Let's click those off. And add the date in. If you add the date that you're actually inputting this, this will help us to know when it's time to run the report that you just did it recently. So just put in the latest and greatest date. Now if you'd like some information on these awards, go to our website, pack95homewood.com slash downloads. There's all the pages there that will give you all the information. You can also go online and find out this information. All right, we'll say OK. And that's it. That's all the information that you really need to know to start putting your son's information in there. It's really going to help us out in the long run that if you're helping us put this information in, we know we're going to be able to get these kids' uh, badges to them as soon as we can. So let's close out of that. So there's one more thing I want to talk about before we finish up. I'd like you to have all your dates and achievements input into this system one week before the PAC meeting. That's really going to help us out. The advancement chair must have time to run out the reports and make sure that uh, everybody's done things correctly. Somebody also has to go out to the scout shop during the work week and pick up the awards. And You know, we've all got jobs. And after that, the advancement chair is also going to organize the awards for presentation. So one week before would be very helpful. If we know something's coming up, then maybe we could work something out. But get that updated. Get the personal information updated. If you got any questions, you know how to contact me. If you'd like a password and user ID so that you can start logging in your own scouts info, contact me as well. I'd be happy to do it. Thanks for everything you do and supporting PAC 95.